to another ESL podcast, man. I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual, and today is a super special me doing some independent essay body paragraph training with one of my students living out there in Los Angeles, originally from Nicaragua. There are nice particulars in this one that might even help you in terms of your essay and making sure everything correlates one after another. Now, again, if you guys are interested, there is a $5 webinar that is available in regards to one that I had de done probably back uh, August 31st, just shy of September. And if you guys are interested, man, make sure you hit that link or go on to my website, Podia, and check out Independent Essay Body Paragraphs because that one is going to help you a ridiculous a lot, okay? So I know that's actually adjective quantifier. It doesn't make sense. But nonetheless, man, thank you so much. And here we go. Let's dive into this. You're very welcome. Okay, so here we go. Let's break this down. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another ESL podcast. And today's another super special with me evaluating one of my students, Alex from Nicaragua, his wonderful essay. Now, his body paragraphs and stuff, he doesn't have too much problems with writing, obviously. He's been living in America for 20 years, working as a nurse and stuff. But in this one, man, I just wanted to focus just a little bit more on his body paragraph structure because a lot of it didn't make sense. And I know that this might be of service to a lot of you out there. We're also having difficulties in this specific area. So today, we're going to scale back, sit back, enjoy this, and guys, let's fire off. Right, man, this is going to be a good one. This this week, you can go on. Appreciate it. Right. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. Okay. Now, I saw that you heard, you, I saw only three essay. Uh, what is it? Three paragraphs. Yeah. I may mean, have forgot. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I did forgot that. Do I do one, three, or four? Or what, or how? Right, more. right. My, my That's okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. All right. Like, okay, let me hurry up and make sure I understand what I sent you yesterday. Some people prefer to spend their free time outdoors. Other people pr prefer to spend their leisure time indoors. Would you prefer to be outside or inside? Okay. So, and then why? So, again, summary. Some people prefer. A, ooh, I like the little summary so you can yeah. understand. So you can understand yeah, yeah, yeah. the question, yeah. right? Okay, good. Okay. All right. Your question is da 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 da. So, here we go. Some people prefer to enjoy their free time outdoors. Okay, so you literally wrote that word for word, right? Change, uh, instead of uh, instead of just saying the same prefer. Or, right, or I can right. Use, I have to use the same. <laughs> yeah, so I forgot what was the, the opening introduction. Um, damn. So we did it yesterday. Uh, yesterday we didn't record it. No? The one yesterday, because we got right. talking. I thought that my guy just started talking. <laughs> right, about about. right. Damn. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cool. However, others choose to enjoy their leisure time indoors. For example, okay. All right. So what would we do here? We would have to hurry up and rewrite this. So I would say some people, um, some people love to do outdoor activities such as, and then I would make a list. I would make a list. Okay. okay. And then obviously you said, on the other hand, mm. other hand, people's preference would be uh, doing indoor activities, would be doing indoor activities such as, and then making a list. Oh, no, I don't want to use such as again. Uh, indoor activities like, instead of saying such as, we can use like, right? So like, um, I don't know. Uh, indoor swimming. I love it. I love it. You made a list. Indoor swimming, bingo, uh, bingo, and other things you can do with groups of people or individually. Mm. In my personal opinion, I believe okay now you don't have to state any of the above aforementioned things that i just mentioned but this is going to be your opening introduction and then that's when you get into your first essay yeah i mean not your first essay your first body paragraph yeah mm, so the introduction then so far from yeah yeah because what happened you put for example some elderly decide to spend um well okay i don't know what this is. decides some elderly decide some elderly, okay, I would just say like, like to spend like, their free okay. time indoors. 
But the thing is, what's happening here, the question mm-hmm. is asking you, what would you prefer? Mm-hmm. All right. So when it comes to you, you have to make sure that you sit, you speak about I, 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 I. More about me. More about you. We're not talking so much about elderly because the focus is actually on you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's that's a good that's a good one. That's all right though. And then for example, obviously, that would be when you give your personal example and body paragraphs one and two. That obviously wouldn't be stated in the introduction or introductory paragraph, and that definitely wouldn't be stated as a thesis in what is it, body paragraph one or two, because the examples you're getting into the specifics, right? So the example, you know, if I'm looking at this, um, um, here we go. If we did just delete some elderly, you could just say, I, I like to spend my, <laughs> my free time or my free leisure time or leisure time. So we don't have to put free and leisure because that's the same thing, right? So I like to spend my leisure or leisure, leisure time indoors due to, oh, due to physical limitations and safety concerns. That is a very good sentence. Okay, that is a very good sentence. So what you would do, though, is provide an example after this. So let's say body paragraph number one, okay, depending on you loving to spend indoor activities. So we're going to come back up here. Uh, In my personal uh, opinion, I love to spend my leisure, uh, sorry, my leisure time indoors due to um what is it uh physical limitations and safety concerns okay so sorry i just gotta hurry up and put leisure here okay so there we go so basically your body paragraph number one body paragraph god damn it but here we go body paragraph number one would be about what physical limitations okay and body paragraph number two Number two would be about safety concerns because these are the two mentions, right? So then you would have to think, okay, my body paragraph number one, what's the thesis going to be? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about your physical limitations, right? We're not talking impersonally. We're talking about me, me, me. So Mm -hmm. you would have to open up the paragraph with the thesis strong enough Whereas you could give a personal example that would more than likely coincide. It would be about the physical limitation. So you could say, when I was a child, when I was playing football, blah, 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 and this ended up, you know, I ended up having a knee injury. And because of this, I'm not able to do outdoor activities that are strenuous because the limitations of what my knee can do. So as a result, what I like to do is dot, 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 dot. There you go. Okay. And then safety concerns, it could be about, I don't know, climate change. It could be about whitewater rafting with some of the safety concerns. Maybe hiking could be very dangerous because of climate change, a number of different things. So I'm just throwing a lot of things out there. Okay. So I like this one. I'm going to hurry up and highlight this. This is good. Okay. So that's why I put this in my personal opinion. I love to spend my leisure time indoors due to physical limitation and safety concerns. So body paragraph number one, physical limitations, body paragraph number two, safety concerns. So let's continue reading this, okay? No they, you're gonna put I. I enjoy playing cards, word games, bingo, indoor swimming, simple fitness exercises, and cooking for family and friends. This choice gives me, okay, we're going to switch it. This choice gives me a sense of security in the event they encounter, in the event I may, I may encounter health issues like re-injuring, okay, re-injuring, let's say my knee. We could bullshit, okay, we could bullshit, no problem, okay, re-injuring my knee or having or having a potential medical emergency, okay? Bam. Now, we're not gonna go, okay, so then you could go into a detail, okay? In regards to what you may have suffered 
and why there are physical limitations to your body or like yeah why do you have those physical limitations now here you said others comma like middle-aged people comma prefer like middle-aged people i'm gonna hurry up and put a comma right here there you go and that's a very good sentence structure by the way okay like middle-aged people comma prefer outdoor activities like hiking camping swimming at the beach road trips playing sports da, 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 and you just made a huge list they may have minimal no physical limitations and seek more adventure activities you see what i mean so what we would do is we're going to make this one about you you're going to give a personal example from your childhood so it could relate better to this so if i'm able to hurry up and come up with from the top of my head when i was a child comma i was playing football okay past continuous i was playing football uh with some friends and in a freak accident i had tore my acl when i was going for a tackle so fast forward to present day comma it's it's very hard for come on i didn't capitalize the i come on okay it's very hard for me oh, see i have these i have a tendency of always using it is there we go no contractions okay no contractions it is very hard for me to do outdoor activities like uh what is it trekking or hiking trekking and this has to be relatable to your need too right like trekking um yes activities i know activities like trekking um dude guys i put an eye let's go all right hey, I don't know what's yeah like a oh, trekking hiking okay so we're gonna hurry up and go hiking Okay, like hiking. <laughs> Got the goddamn British English kills me. So uh, uh, what is it? So fast forward to present day. It is very hard for me to do outdoor activities uh, like hiking and, and other, and other, what is it? And other activities and other things that require me to do something what does it do something or it requires me oh and other things that require me to use my knee strenuously Ooh, there we go use my knee strenuously okay well that doesn't make any sense but anyways you get what i'm saying all right so that is a full paragraph okay now, obviously, it gives you a sense of security, knowing that you won't encounter health issues. All right. Now, you went on to say, what is it? When I was a child, you talked about what had happened. And in present day, that is affecting your performance and using your knee. So you're not able to do hiking or anything that puts a lot of strain on your knee due to what had happened when you were a child. This is the basic format. We have our thesis, which we didn't do just yet, but I'm just giving you an idea. We have the thesis of the, uh, of the body paragraph number one. We have a supporting example, which you talk about, you know, um, what is it? Gives you a sense of security in regards to not encountering a health issue, right, with your knee. And then you go into the personal example when you were a child. Perfect. There you go. Does that make sense? Um, and then you have to talk about safety concerns. Yeah. So this one, this paragraph, it says, I prefer, but see, you said from the elderly's perspective, from the elder's perspective, in the mm. paragraph number one, and so in paragraph mm. number two must be about safety concerns. Okay, okay, right. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's to be about okay. safety concerns. So what do you think? Does that, make, that, does that all make sense to you, oh, how yeah. to do the introduction? How one and two, is that okay? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm so I'm amazed you can do so quickly and. <laughs> I'm telling you, you, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to put. Right, right, to, right. To think, to think something, <laughs> something that is not going to get the person confused. Interesting to read, you know, like to follow. Right. To follow that conversation, not to get you, to get the reader uh, lost. <laughs> 
Right, right. And, that, and that's why I'm making sure and just like reaffirming all the information that I'm giving you one after another. Okay, this, 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 this so that you understand that format and that structure in your head. So you're able to go one, two, personal example. Okay, next one, safety concerns, thesis. Okay, okay so I don't know what you're gonna talk about in terms of safety concerns uh, out with outdoor activities. Oh, so if we could break this down one by one, what would we do? How would you go about doing this? Of course, safety concern could be first is um about you know let's say you go out in a bad neighborhood or you can also be hiking in a place where it, it could be a bad terrain or you can encounter animals like we, i did last time my daughter we encountered a big old snake that just crossed right in front of us we, oh my you goodness know, so thankfully just just Damn. walked across in front of us you know during, during the lockdown uh we couldn't go anywhere place so i just tried to think of where to take my daughter because you know kids are getting sad depressed and many things going their mind so I said I have I having a never of my own worries of my own, but I had to think about what to do for her. So we went out walking, finding random hiking places, and we ended up in one. There was night, but somehow a big old snake went and crossed right in front of it. And it was, she was just changing skin. You know, the, I don't know if I said it correctly, but the snake was like three colors in one. The new shedding, shedding skin, shedding. Skin. shedding. It was shedding. Yeah, shedding. yeah, yeah. Shedding skin. So it was still dragging the old skin with it, you know. Like, oh my! Part of it looked longer, it looked like a longer thing. Like, oh, <laughs> and then thankfully just went across, you know. I guess uh, they, she got scared. We got scared. He was, she was just minding her own business. <laughs> but it was uh, like a three steps from us. Just came from a little bush and see <laughs> see through <laughs> in front of us, you know. <laughs> and it was okay. Wow. Kind of, but that's I, I think that's very expected to see in those hiking places yeah yeah that's my first time experience yeah first time uh, you know so that's that's the thing i think would that be part of the safety concern like you know encounter an animal or what if i get it's a, a hard terrain and we i can we can fall and break a knee or something or you know i re-injure the knee yeah the yeah 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 can that Excellent. be part of it that, absolutely absolutely due to Due to the rugged terrain, which you could experience on hiking trails, mountain climbing, and what, what was the other one you had mentioned? Uh, and and uh, uh, animals, okay, and, and, and different types of uh, dangerous animals you could encounter this is a big reason. This is the second main reason to why I would not be able to, uh, what is it, to do outdoor activities. Now, from my personal experience, we can include the whole snake thing and how if you were to escape, <laughs> your knee would not help you in escape. <laughs> This, uh, <laughs> what the, how would the British say in this uh, escape attempt? I know the British always have a nice way to say. <laughs> oh, oh my God! They have a ton of sayings out there in good old England. I'm telling you, man, they got sayings on top of sayings on top of sayings. And some of the things I don't even know what they're saying, and I'm just like, I, ah, ha, 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 yeah, I, had to say I realize that. British can offend you in in a nice political way you know like they can say something that sounds sweet to you but they they they, they so we're, they're really insulting you they're really cursing you out but they, they are say, like, like a cup of tea you know <laughs> right? absolutely absolutely like i think and in they, new york and you know in, in boston they do the same thing they're like oh my oh, yeah? god such beautiful hair but they're actually sarcastic and they're saying, oh, my God, your hair is so ugly. That's what they're saying. You know, that's what they do in New York and in, uh, in Massachusetts, in New York City, Massachusetts, you know, like Boston. Boston's a, oh, you know. I heard there's always like a. Although high... I have some, I have a student that lives there, but yeah. Anyways. Okay. So um, what we, what we say uh, so about um, getting away from the snake <laughs> without. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here we go. Um, from my personal experience. Okay. 
my daughter, where were you guys? My daughter and I were in Botswana. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we could make it sound very interesting, but you never know. <laughs> okay, so where, where, where were your daughter? Where were you guys? Uh, Yosemite. Yeah, to make up, yeah. Where were you walking in? Okay. Yosemite. Yosemite National Park in Northern California. So I like it. We're, we're given um, a location. So we're painting the picture, right? We're like, okay, we were in this particular area. So we're laying the foundation to our big example. Uh, uh, what is it? On one of the trails, on one of the particular trails, my daughter had bent, ooh, past perfect, had bent over to, I don't know, tie her shoe. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, oh, a nice little storytelling. And suddenly, a massive snake that was shedding, shedding Shed. its skin. Skin. Um, what is it? What, what do you call that? Slithered. Oh, slithered yeah, <laughs> right before our eyes. She shrieked. No, I don't want to put too much storytelling into it because now it sounds like a damn story. Um, she jumped up. And I could not get away because the condition, because the condition of my knee. So I had to step back little, what is it? Little by a little by little to avoid this snake. Now, it, snake. it was a, co yeah, if it was a cobra, comma, mm -hmm. I would have have what is it? I would have been in a very dangerous position and and to sum up this story, I never went trekking again because I uh what is it? I'm I okay, I am not only scared of these creatures but i also wouldn't be a oh god would not would not have been able to get away if it had attacked me Ooh, you see that so i just came up with that all from the top of my head so does that make sense here we go let's break this down from my personal experience, my daughter and I were in Yosemite National Park in Northern California. On one of the particular trails, my daughter had bent over to tie her shoe and suddenly a massive snake that was shedding its skin slithered right before our eyes. She jumped up and now I could have said she jumped up and ran away. And however, I could not get away because the condition of my knee. So I had mm. to step back little by little to avoid the snake. Now. If it was a cobra, I would have been in a very dangerous position. Mm -hmm. And to sum up this story, I never went trekking. Well, again, if it was a if it was a cobra, I would have been in a very dangerous position. But it was just a blah 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 snake. Mm -hmm. And to sum up this story, I never went trekking again because I am not only scared of these types of creatures, right? But I also would not have been able to get away if it had attacked me. There you go. It's a nice little breakdown. Now, I just came up with that from the top of my head. I would probably rearrange a couple of things, but this is exactly what you're going to do in terms of your independent essay. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Again, if you guys are interested, yes, the membership and so many webinars and courses and things are available. You make sure you contact me, follow me on IG, rate me on the Apple Podcast Store. If you guys have an Apple product, I would absolutely appreciate that to the umpteenth degree. And with that being said, guys, stay tuned for more. So much more coming over and out.